What's up, y'all? Gonna make this short and quick. I never thought in a million years I would bring this back. It's Mr. Kendo. A Kendo stick. I never thought in a million years I would bring this up because, you know, it's always hungry for WWE's idiotic decision making. But this one here is a little bit more to it than that. This is gonna go for NBA purposes. Because, I'm gonna say this right now. I'm a Chicago Bulls fan. We all know this. I respect Scottie Pippen. Yes, I do. I respect D. Wade, even though we got him when he was in his fragile years. Respect him too. I respect Wakanda forever. But that judging tonight, y'all, really? How do you rob Aaron Gordon twice? I mean, nothing against um, Derrick Jones Jr. He was he was good. I mean, he a great, great dunker. But Zach Levine, let me get this straight. Zach Levine dunks over Taco Falls. Man's like maybe seven foot four, seven foot five, seven foot six, or something like that. And he doesn't even win the dunk. I said, shoot, he he dunked. Aaron Gordon dunked, dunked over him clean. He dunked over him so clean. And all of that, and he still doesn't win? You guys rob him? You give him a 47. I mean, Derrick Jones got a 48, and that was a 48 dunk. Because we've seen that dunk perform so many times. But Aaron Gordon showed his Virgo, his leaping ability, if you may. And dunked over a man who's seven foot six or seven. And he still doesn't win? Seriously? D-Wade. And also, man, Derrick Jones. Nothing against Derrick Jones, but Pat Covington got robbed in his first dunk. If you knew what he was referencing, white man can't jump and all that, you give him a 45. His dunk, me not remind you, he made it on the first attempt. And he came up with that creativity to go throw back with Billy and from White Man Can't Jump. And you give him a 45? Correct me if I'm wrong, I was told back in the day, once your dunk was, you know, like you made it the first try or whatever, wasn't that like an autumn, well not automatic 50, but shoot, that should have been higher than a 45. So, I don't know, man. I don't know how you rob Aaron Gordon. I feel so bad for Aaron Gordon, man. Probably one of the greatest dunkers here in this generation. Well, from, from this generation, man. 2016, he got robbed by Shaq. And now this year, he got robbed by three different people. Us, Black Panther, D-Wade, and Scottie Pippen. I don't know, man. I don't know how to feel about this. I'm like beyond ticked off. If you saw my live stream, you could actually go to that and see all the way to the end of how I was reacting to it. But I wanna know y'all reaction. What is your thoughts on this? Because how do you rob him twice, dude? How do you rob this man twice? And, and I don't want nobody in the comment section saying, oh, cause like I said, probably one of the greatest dunkers in this generation. I'm, when I'm talking about generation, I'm talking about around from the mid of the 2000s to the mid late 2000s, or actually no, the late 2000s, I wanna go to 16, all the way to, um, all the way to now, to the 2020s. I don't know how you can rob this man. I swear, man, he better come next year. Cause I'm gonna go to the, NBA All-Star Game in Indianapolis in my hometown. And I hope Aaron Gordon uh, dunks again. I hope he get, participates in the dunk contest. Zach Levine as well. Shoot. I hope uh, Derrick Jones um, comes back and to get, um, you know, retain, uh, you know, to um, defend his title. Pat Covington should come back. But you know what, man? I want to know what y'all think right now. He got robbed. I want to know y'all take on it. Let me know in the comment section below. And if you're new, leave a like and subscribe. I'm out bullying. I'll see you guys next time.